Well, you know what happened, that, uh, Katie, I think that is interesting, is that during the interview process, we went and we, uh, uh, there were girls coming from all around. And we had several actresses, actually, who had stories like Precious. And they were, they fit the physical type and everything. The reality is those girls um, could not do the job. Mm -hmm. They were breaking down. They were. It was. It was so problematic. So we. We. Gabby is an actress. You know. It. Duh. That is what we needed. Uh, someone who could be go into this material, but who was not this person. She is so not that. You know what I mean. She is so not depressed. She is so not um, language deficient. You know what I mean. She right. is so not hostile uh, and and uh, embittered and closed in. But she, she's able to act that out. And that, I really wanted people to know that because there's a way that people might think that she's like being herself. You know, that, that, we, found a, that we found a precious and just put, you know. Put her on think, think cellular. Of your, think of your own mother and cry or something like that. Right. But no, this girl is a real actress. And you know, she's currently involved in another film. So I didn't know that. Yes, yes. So this is not going to be like a one-shot deal. You know, she's serious about making a, a life for herself as an actress. Which is great, Which too, is great. because she looks very different than most actresses it, that we've come than to. Almost all actresses. And when we do have um, an actress who looks like her, that actress is a comic character or an old woman or something. She's the star of the show. You know, I mean, that's what Gabby is the star. So we have a... A uh, heavy, dark-skinned black woman who is the star. The movie couldn't have happened without her. She's not a supporting character. And I, I feel so happy about that.